How you doing? This is Jimmy Napoli at the Powerhouse Arena. I'm here for the book signing and premiere party of Swisted. Swisted is the brain creation of a man by the name of Mike Joyce. He's decided he wanted to take his two favorite loves, rock music, especially indie, punk rock, and hardcore, and combine them with the Swiss modern designs that he was influenced by as an artist. We're going to talk to some of the great people that have come out here today to see this exhibit, and we're going to talk to some of the great musicians that he influenced by this particular art. So here we go, guys. Hang on. We're going to get twisted now. I'm here with Richard Devgreen of Pale Moon Gang. Rich, what are you doing here tonight? How you doing, Jimmy? Good to see you, sir. Well, I'm here. I'm here to support Mike Joyce, who's a good pal of mine, and he's worked on my uh, current band, Pale Moon Gang. He's done some promotion for us, some flyers. He's done a poster for us. He's done some really beautiful work for the band. But we're really honored to have two posters in the book that we are involved in. The posters, if one of them is for the Cramps which was a show uh, I did with my first band, Pale Face of Youth, way yeah. back in 83. Yeah. At the Peppermint that. Lounge. I don't know if anybody had ever been to the Peppermint Lounge, but it's no longer there. What is it, a Citibank? <laughs> yeah. I think it's a Citibank. Uh, that doesn't the matter. The way of the dodo. Yeah. And the other poster we got in the book is uh, for Public Image Limited, a show we did at Rutgers University in 1984. And we're just really psyched to be in the book at all, and it's, it's just really fun to be here, see Mike, and know that he's getting attention for some great work that he did because what the way I see it is he's figured out a way to take a square peg and stick it in a round hole you know he's got a that rock and roll dirty rock and roll square peg and that nice clean round Swiss modernist hole and the alchemy of his artistry just like silly putty that square peg into that round hole and you got some dirty, clean results on a poster somehow here. I don't know. You what know about is. those dirty, clean results. I know results. about dirty. I don't, <laughs> I don't know that much about clean. I'm learning about clean. Thank you, Richard yeah. Devgreen, sure, for man. spending time with us. Great. And everybody, stay, have a good time, stay around, but uh, don't Mike get too Joyce. twisted. Don't get too twisted. All right. <laughs> All right. Have care. a good night. Good to be seeing you. Hey guys, I'm here with Adam Waller. How you doing? He's the printer who made these posters possible today. What's it like working with Mike Joyce? It is unbelievable to work with Mike Joyce. The, the most awesome designer, huge fan of music, very knowledgeable, and you can tell by the work, brilliant creative mind. Are you enjoying yourself here tonight? Absolutely. Everyone should go out, buy Mike's book. It's a great concept, and hopefully you buy some more posters. Don't get too twisted. I won't get too twisted tonight. All right. I'm a fly on the wall. Now here I go, flying fast. They got me talking to myself to get How you doing, guys? I'm here with Stuffy Schmidt. We're right. talking about some of the great work that's going on out here in the new world. What's it like to see this happening now? It's so great. Mike's such a great guy. He does such great work. He did the cover of my last record, Industrial Love which is an amazing, amazing cover, as well as it, it opens in a, in a three-way spread, and each section is a piece of art. Mike's brilliant, and I'm very, very happy he did the record, and really glad this book came out. Mike's a good guy. Buy the record, realistic record, Stuffy Schmidt, Industrial Love, just for the artwork. You can throw love. the CD out, just buy it for the artwork. <laughs> Industrial Love, that sounds great to me. All right. Check it out. All right. We've had a great time here tonight. I'm here now with the great artist Mike Joyce. Here you are. Great to see you, Mike. Great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having us. You know, this was a spectacular event. You know, everybody, I'm sure, has a million questions for you. Obviously, your rock influences are a big part of your art. 
but what I'm interested in is some of your great artistic influence. Yeah. Why don't you tell me a little about some of the people who have inspired you as an artist over the years? Yeah, cool. No, I'm glad you asked that because obviously with all the band names, you can see like the punk rock and the rock and the rock and roll and whatnot, indie rock. But um, Swisted was basically born out of two of my favorite things, which is punk rock and typography and the international typographic style, really, to be exact. And that was a, a design uh, movement that was started in the uh, 50s and 60s uh, in Switzerland, of course. And um, uh, Armin Hoffman, Joseph Mueller Brockman, uh, Emil Reuter, those are the three of my idols. And I was fortunate enough to be taught by the great Fred Trawler, who came to America and really helped spread Swiss modernism into uh, 60s, 70s uh, America. So those guys always pop out as like my biggest inspiration when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, we're all enjoying and reaping the rewards of your art, so thank you so much for everything. Uh, one of the other questions I wanted to ask you is, um, as far as your musical influences, I know you're into a lot of different types of music, but let me ask you one question. Um, some of the bands that you've got up here on the wall, um, who are some of your favorite influences just to round it out and give, keep the rock and roll heads happy? Yeah, well, to, to keep the rock and roll heads happy, the replacements are my favorite band. I don't think they made the wall tonight, uh, and I'm actually not sure why. It was, well, there was 200, 200 designs in the book, so some had to get cut out, uh, but we made sure to play. Some replaced. Yeah, exactly, and some were replaced. The replacements are my favorite band. I love the Minneapolis sound, so I love Husker Du and early Soul Asylum, of course. Um, but then I, I grew up in New York going to all these New York hardcore shows. I love New York hardcore, but for some reason I was always more into um, uh, punk rock from Los Angeles. So I love the Germs and Black Flag and Agent Orange. Uh, I really love surf-inspired stuff. So Dead Kennedys from San Francisco. That's, that's uh, really kind of my, my favorite stuff. I, I'm a big Dead Kennedys fan myself, so it's great to hear that. Yeah. I can't say that. They're, they're a good client of mine. Ah, well, you know, what can you do? You know, Kraft sponsors me, but I hate American cheese. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs>